Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming on my vanity because I'm going to be filming how I straighten and get a sleek straight hair look. I don't love this background, sorry, it's a little messy, but the vanity has the perfect lighting and it has outlets so that I can plug all of my hair tools too. All right, let's get started. I washed my hair about an hour ago, so the top is pretty much dry. The ends are a little on the wet side. I like to let it air dry for as long as possible, so I basically just did my makeup, and now I'm ready to do my hair. I use three brushes also to blow dry my hair because I'm extra. So the first one I need to have handy all the time is my wet brush because this one untangles your hair when it's wet very easily without tearing and pulling at your hair. Honestly, this is the best brush ever to brush your hair with even when it's not wet because it just untangles so quickly. So I just like to make sure that my hair is untangled and it is ready to get blown out. Next up, I'm going to apply some of this product. This is the Garnier Smooth and Dry Anti-Frizz Cream. I use this all the time. Even when I let my hair air dry, I just put some of this on so it's not too frizzy. It's basically meant to get a sleek look and to give you just frizz control without any heat. So you don't need to blow dry your hair in order to use this. But I like to use this all the time just because it tames my hair. And I like to split my hair on two sides. So first, I'm going to work this... On this side and I like to start with my ends and then work my way up so I don't put too much product on the top of my hair and then I make sure to get these little hairs in here too but like a dime size nothing too crazy like that and then I will just work it on this side another product I like to put in my hair is by Alterna and this is the caviar anti-aging spray it is a color hold top coat with a shine spray so it's meant for color treated hair which i have and i feel like black fades so quickly so i like to use products that add shine and help me keep my color so when my hair is wet i just spray this all over because it's going to protect my hair it's going to protect my hair color and it's going to give my hair shine And then I like to just brush that into my hair a little bit more. Oh, and by the way, I do have my tape and extensions in. So if you're wondering how I blow my hair out, pretty much the same way I would even if I didn't have them in. I just have to be a little bit more careful and it takes me a little bit longer since I do have extra hair packed in here. All right, to blow dry my hair, I'm using my T3 blow dryer. I'm going to link it below for you guys. I've had this blow dryer now for maybe almost a year. It's really, really, really good you can just start separating your hair into sections which is what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna start to blow dry so to blow dry my hair i like to use this big paddle brush this is by con air it's another amazing brush if you have trouble detangling your hair paddle brushes i find are really convenient to help you detangle your hair all right let's get started Okay, blow drying is done. This is what I am left with. Just a little bit of unruly hair. I used to always, after this point, just curl it with a curling wand or something. But like I said, my go-to style lately has been a sleeker, straight look. To get that sleek look, I'm going to be using this flat iron. This one is from T3 also. I will link it below for you guys. But it's also 
The T3 hair products are really amazing. I'm gonna section off my hair again as if I was blow drying it because we are going to flat iron in sections. I would recommend applying something else again while your hair is dry before you flat iron that will protect it from the heat. I run out, I can't find anything, but definitely use something to protect your hair. Also, just be very careful when you're flat ironing, especially the little pieces like closer to your face, like these, you don't wanna burn yourself. I think that goes without saying though. I like to use a brush also. I feel like it makes things easier and I'm able to pick up like all the hair that I want. We're pretty much done at this point. This flat iron is so good. I can flat iron my hair so quickly. And it has, my hair currently has a lot of shine because I did use that other spray. But if you wanna take it up a notch, this is another product that I put once my hair is dry. This is the Bumble and Bumble Dry Oil Finishing Spray. I like this because it's a very lightweight mist. It gives you a ton of shine. And it also has an oil that's gonna really just tone down any flyaways that you might have. So we are just going to, I gotta back away from the camera. <laughs> We're just gonna spray this. You don't need all that much. And then once I spray, I brush my hair so that it just distributes evenly. And I get the craziest shine, look at that. Isn't that insane? I want to share one last tip with you guys and this is only if you need to I don't always do this but if you got a lot of like little flyaways up top like I have just a little bit it doesn't really bother me but depending on the weather sometimes it's a little worse than other times all you have to do is grab a small brush you could and grab some of your favorite hairspray this one is by sexy hair and this one is a weightless hairspray I don't want something like too crunchy or too heavy so that's why I'm using a weightless one and then all you want to do is spray the brush and you can brush down those little flyaways. So this is going to brush them down and it's also going to keep them down because it has hairspray on it. And we're done. So guys, this is how I get my sleek straight hair. Don't forget to check the description box. I'm going to list all of the products and tools that I used. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.